On this machine with the Mesa Pro, let's move this and see we're gonna see how to uh, create an image on the, from the home the CFAS. This uh, CNC uses uh, CFAS technology, so we are going to show you how to remove that or access to the CFAS unit. You have some little plugs on the side, two on the right. And you need uh, an Allen key, 5mm Allen So the unit is right here. The last unit. I want to remove that and uh, clone it and use a brand new one memory or CPAS memory uh, in order to go to the clone it. Okay. So now we did a lockout on the machine and we are going to remove the we have the slot here. Let's remove it on the right. And this is the CFAS unit that we have on the right. So now we have the CFAS memory. And we have this adapter. You have the data or the part number. So now we have the CFAS memory and we have this adapter you have the data or the part number uh. okay now we have uh, the computer with the boss and we already have connected the cfas adapter and to the motherboard and we are going to come with this from the disk to an image and this is the unit, the second unit. This is the main or the computer hard drive. And this is the CFAS. So we are going to clone this. It's a CNC image. It's not the CNC. And we are going to save it with this name. So let's hit save. And we are going to not compress uh, the file. And this is gonna take about five minutes, I guess. Okay, it says that ten minutes, so we will be back in ten minutes. In the meantime, we have a comment. So this is the original CFAS memory from Mitsubishi. If you need to buy this from them, you need to provide them the CNC serial number and the whole data. And this is gonna cost uh, about three thousand. But if you see, we have this spare uh, CFAS unit, a little bit bigger, one twenty megabyte gigabytes. And this is about three hundred something dollars, so ten percent of the price of this one. The backup has finished and it took uh, about 15 minutes. You see. So let's continue and let's put from here. We're gonna turn the computer off uh, and exchange the memory. We're gonna use this uh, new, brand new memory to to clean, to clone this image into it. Okay. This is a new image that we have for the same machine. This has been done in 2019 and then today. Today. Now let's replace the the CFAS. Okay. This is a the one that has been installed on the machine, and this is going to be the brand new memory. Let's turn it on. Let's run GOS again. And now we are gonna clone from a disk from an image. We are gonna ch 
choose the image we just created day and we're gonna save it on the brand new CFAS that is a 120 gigabytes this one the second unit and we're gonna leave it like like it is and right now and this is gonna take about five minutes it says okay right, it's total time to plan the image into the new CFAS is 8 minutes 44 seconds okay now we are going to insert the new CFAS in the CNC back line. and let's try so after we replace the CFAS memory with a brand new one so we are gonna leave it working and see how it performs the new memory. The new memory has a uh, the 20, 120 gigabytes and the original was 32 gigabytes.